Sorry. Hey, are we up to this? No trouble at Predictable. all. Predictable.
Guess who? Welcome to the Chocolate Mart! I'm taking... What now? Who's solely... What is going on here? Oh, Captain! Terrible news! Her Highness has been abducted by the Princess Goblin! What? Did you say the Princess Goblin? This is bad! Princess! Are you alright? The Warrior of Light! Oh, I knew you would come! My smoochy poo! So, have you thought it over? Will you make me your bride? What? His bride? Yes! Princess Goblin, I already told you my answer is no. Good! What? Surely you know my heart beats for one cause. My prince. Oh? The kingdom of Cornelia and all its people. Oh, is that all? Become my lovey dubby hubby, and my goblins will give you guys all the protection you will ever need. The way you gave that giant goblin at the Spagaroonie, that is just the kind of manhandling the goblin army's been dying for. Uh, no, I have a duty. Ah! What about her dinkiness here? Could you possibly find more charming than me? If she's that special to you, I'll keep her nice and safe by imprisoning her for the rest of her life. Happy now? Isn't the realm in good hands? Please, no. Enough! Now you've gone too far! Well, I guess we can't blame you for falling for a dreamboat like the Warrior of Light. But instead, how about it? Sorry, there's no room for dummies on this battlefield. Is she playing hard to get? Why am I so intrigued? I... I don't think I'm ready for this. Are these feelings normal? Maybe for you!
ought to do it. Princess Goblin, it's over! Oh my god! Wait, Warrior of Light! Highness, <laughs> please step aside. I can't allow this evil mirage to continue in her foul ways. No! No, I will not. Despite her poor judgment, her heart is in the right place. Yeah! Can you blame her? Like any princess, all that she desired was a dashing gentleman. Oh, for sure! It is no less noble than what I do for my kingdom. Yes, it is. Princess. Now, uh -huh. if you genuinely wish to protect me, then please... Put your sword away. Yeah, Very please. well. If it is your wish I show mercy, then I will stay my blade. <laughs> what is the matter? Are you hurt? <laughs> After all of the terrible things I went into to you, why are you so nice? I feel like such a awful meanie. Why? You're right. Her Highness is as caring as they come. Why else would I have fallen in? <laughs> Princess Sarah! Oh, I am so not worthy! You win! I must accept my defeat! So long! Oh, hey, from now on, I'm going to be a better ruler and look after my goblins! So long! Oh, and I hope there aren't any hard feelings! So long! And, like, if you ever need me for anything, I'll be here in a goblin minute, so just say the word! <laughs> right. We'll keep you posted. So long! What a selfless and courageous princess she turned out to be. A fine ruler. Willing to change when necessary. Just the sort of example I should strive to imitate. No, your highness is fine the way you are. If you need help, I will always be there to assist you. <laughs> I am beginning to see I am in good hands. Thank you, sir. Y your highness? There's no telling what mirages might lie just around the bend. I trust that you will keep me safe until we return home? Right. Then I suggest you stay as close to me as possible. <laughs> I love thrilling adventures. We should have another one. Oh, no, no. We need to adopt a strict no more abductions rule. Never again.
Tell me what you Come back soon. Tell me what you desire. Farewell. Beautiful. Wait a sec. I know I've seen that before. But where? I can't remember. Giants traveling with a mirage? It seems clear the two of you are not from Grimoire. Yeah, we kind of forgot to shrink down, too. What's your name? You know, that staff. My name is Yuna. Are you heralds? Have more of you been sent to plague us? Your kind have brought enough chaos into this world already. Now from Grimoire. You have no place here. Maybe we should get the going while the getting's still good. I don't understand it. Why is she so mad at us? Yeah, Lon. What did you do to her anyway? What did I do? Why is it my fault? Oh, I've got this.
The way you use mirages. Only Luce Farna ever held such power over them. Tell me, who are you? Huh? Luce Farna, you said? <sighs> but that's our... mother. Hey, you're right. That was her name. Uh, listen, you wouldn't happen to know this, Luce Farna. Let me show you something. The same one mom used to wear. What? Then it's her? Right. I knew I recognized it. The ornament on Yuna's staff. Roughly 100 years ago, a champion from another world saved Grimoire. Her name was Luce Farna. Huh? Mom did that? But a hundred years. It doesn't make sense. Mom's a champion? And this is some kind of monument to her? So... You keep saying that Lady Luce was your mother. Again, may I ask who you are? Well, uh... No memory? That is strange. Do you think you might be able to tell us a little more about Lady Luce? We'd appreciate anything at all. I'm sorry. I only know the common legends. The ones Grimoire's people have grown up with. Fine. We'll take anything. Sometime around a century ago, the world of Grimoire was nearly destroyed by a being that has come to be known as the Demon Dyad. Luce Farna prevented this by creating the Ultima Gate, a bridge to salvation from which she summoned three heralds straight from the realm of the gods. Thus, she became Grimoire's champion. That definitely sounds like something out of mythology. Bridging the gap between worlds is a serious accomplishment. She must have been amazing. That she was. But sadly, even though she managed to save the world from the demon Dyad, huh? the Heralds, all three of them chose to remain here in Grimoire. And one of them is now Brandalus, King of Bahamut. Huh? But Bahamut? That's the Federation that attacked Cornelia. Yes. 
After they finished saving the world, Brandilis and the others harnessed a legion of new mirages and slowly took control of Grimoire's lands, building a powerful federation. A legion of new mirages? Vaughn, you don't think there's any connection to the ones we lost, do you? What? That's not possible. We're talking about a hundred years ago. But where have we been? Nightwood Hills, which Anna Crow told us, was a world without time. Right, Tama? Right there you are! Compared to other the worlds, the concept of time there is, let's say, more than a little bit the unusual. So, if you want to know just the how long you were there, there's really then no way to measure. Dude, what? Um, if you don't mind my asking, whatever happened to Lady Luce? After the Heralds came. Unfortunately, we don't know for sure. Some say summoning the Heralds was an act that cost her her life, while others say she lives as a prisoner in the Herald's castle, her freedom lost forever. Prisoner? <sighs> what? Well then, where can we find this castle? I wish I could help, but I don't know where to find it. Not just me, no one, not even the soldiers in their army. They say Brandalus keeps its whereabouts a secret. Huh? How do you hide a big honking castle? Hey, take it easy. Come on, it's a legend. Are you really gonna get all worked up over something carved on a rock? They share the same name. That doesn't automatically have to mean they're the same person. Well, yeah, maybe not. But you can't try and tell me this is just a coincidence. Would you listen? All the stuff we're remembering? Like Mom's name? What if it turns out none of it is true? But I guess there's no point in telling Lon that. What is it already? Oh, just forget it. If it's Bahamut that you're after, you should start in one of the Federation's member states and do your asking around there. Seronia lies further north. I believe they just joined the Federation. What? Dude, what? But I thought Seronia was the place we're going to. Then Princess Sarah must not have known. <sighs> oh well, we've already made it this far. Yeah. We wouldn't be very good emissaries if we turned back now. And we did promise to ask about the League of S. I'm real sorry I raised my voice at you. I uh, know you were trying to help us out, so thanks. No, I should be sorry for attacking you. It was wrong to accuse you of being something you're clearly not. To get to Seronia, you will need to pass through a frigid place called Icicle Ridge. If you have mirages who can use fire magic, you may find your passage considerably easier. Again, it shall be Ragnarok, a battle initiated by new champions, and yet, to whose salvation? You're beyond salvation. <laughs> Well, no matter. A chase is more to my liking. A tire is simply waiting.
What's up, sis? Oh, it's probably nothing. I just have this strange feeling. Kind of familiar, but also kind of scary. Choco Ching! Welcome to the Chocolate Mart! You come from what the honk? No trouble at all. Predictable. I guess we're doing this. Oh! 
Here we go! Yeah, we got this. That wasn't so bad. No trouble at all. Oh, yeah. Chapter 6 Solace from the Ice Ugh, I'm freezing my butt off out here. Uh, no kidding. Hey, let's take shelter at that in there.
our first guests in a while. Welcome to Charlotta Salas. Ah, so much warminess. Oh, um, hello there. Would it be okay if we rest here for a little bit? Sure. The Solace wouldn't be much of an inn if we turned away freezing travelers. Thank goodness. Oh, we don't see very many giants these days. What? Lon, what are you- Whoops! Uh, oh. She doesn't really seem all that shocked. Hmm? Oh. Well, I'm sure some folks would make a fuss. But I remember a time when giants wouldn't warrant a second look. It's only lately your kind has truly gotten scarce. But even then, I doubt anyone's eyes have been popping out. Well, now that you mention it, I guess not. Ah, don't give it a second thought. Everyone is welcome under my roof. Although it would help if you did a little shopping before you go on your merry way. Good idea. I wonder if she's got anything to keep us warm. That would help. Make yourselves right at home. Ooh, is this for warming up? Oh, this looks nice and toasty. Excuse me, how much do you want for this? Hmm? Wait a sec. Tell me you're not planning to cross the ice fields. We kind of have to get to Seronia. <sighs> Forget it, don't even bother. Making the trip at this time of year would be difficult enough on its own. But for a while now, the ridge has been overrun by nasty mirages. No traveler is safe. Giant or Lilikin, you would be torn right to pieces. <laughs> oh yeah? We can handle some mirages. You can just point us right at those suckers. <laughs> huh? Oh, you see, we're mirage keepers. And we're actually on a journey right now to gather as many of them as we can. Right? Yes, sirree. Oh, wow. We have had a lot of guests over the years. But you two are definitely my first ever Mirage Keepers. Uh, excuse me? Hmm? Um, sorry to intrude. My name is Rafia. You see, I've been stuck here in the inn for a while now because of all the mirages in Icicle Ridge. Rafia, are you certain about this? Yes. I've made up my mind. <sighs> Don't give me that look. I won't stop you. Honestly. <sighs> hey, Mirage Keepers. Huh? Yes? You did say you're on your way to Seronia, right? That's right. In fact, you might say that we're on a mission of sorts for Cornelia. So we can't stay here long. Good grief. I must be the only one around here with a lick of sense. Okay, fine, you win. But at least take along the Warlock's warmer. In exchange, I want you to let Refia here go along on the trip with you. She knows a bit of white magic. You can't say no to that. Charlotta. Hey, no skin off my nose. Or mine. Besides, if she can use white magic, she'd really be doing us a favor. Great, everybody wins. So, if that's settled, why not rest up before you go? 